Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be reviewing and setting up the Razer Chimera 5.1 wireless headset for the Xbox 360. This headset operates at the 5.8 GHz frequency so it won't interfere with other devices in your household. Okay, let's set everything up guys. The first thing we do is get one end of our optical jack and put it into the digital audio end on the base station. And we put the other end in the optical jack on the back of the Xbox 360. If you have the newer style, you'll plug it directly into the same port on the Xbox 360. Let's give a quick look, up close look at the base station. Here we have our digital audio in and our digital audio out. Here's our 3.5 millimeter jack in and out and our stereo in and out and the power port. Okay, let's get to the front of the base station. We have our EQ on and off button, our main power on and standby button, and then the source sync button. Let's move on to the side of the headset. We have our mic mute button, the power button. Here is our mic that can extend up and down. On the opposite side, we have our mic volume up and down buttons. Opposite to that, we have our main sound volume up and down buttons. Okay, here we have our mode button, and below that is our sync and mute button. Here on the bottom of the headrest padding, we have our connection that we make on the base station to charge the battery pack. The headset also extends up and down on both sides. And to charge the headset, you simply place the headset on top of the base station. The light will start flashing red, and once it's fully charged, it'll turn green. On this side of our headset is the compartment for our rechargeable batteries. All you do is pull the main compartment off, and there's a smaller compartment that houses the two AAA batteries. Okay, to use this for Xbox Live, we simply plug one end of the headphone jack into the bottom of the headset. Then you take the other end and you plug it into the bottom of the Xbox controller. And it's as simple as that. Okay, now let's get into the sound quality of this unit. I experienced overall good sound quality across the board. It had really good bass, really good mid-range, and really good highs. The only problem I experienced is with the mic. Um, as I was playing on Xbox Live, People would tell me I need to turn my mic down. I didn't experience any problems at all with hearing my other teammates while playing Xbox Live, though. I've used this headset mostly for playing Gears of War 3, and again, all the sounds are really balanced across the board unless you play at extremely you know, high volume levels. And as far as the comfort goes, these headsets are really comfortable. I played for like four to five hours at a time and really felt no discomfort around my ears. When you turn the power on, the bottom of the base station has a light around the outer edges of it. This may be annoying to some people, but I thought it was pretty cool. It didn't bother me at all. So overall, I like this headset and I can recommend it. I think that the mic may be a little bit too sensitive, but other than that, it proved to be a pretty good headset all around. So thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.